Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Man, the news just continues to come. Isn't it great that football season is here upon us now? Um, we have some news that has just kind of transpired here uh, just a few minutes ago, and let me make sure I pull it on up. Because um, this is going to be interesting. The Dallas Cowboys, after years of having problems of <clears throat> at safety, seem to be you know, playing safety by committee because they are hosting Malik Hooker. They're bringing in Malik Hooker um, to check him out to see if he's going to be okay. You'll remember uh, when we signed Demontre KZ, who said that he's 110%. He's 110% and he's ready to go that um, we also had brought in Malik Hooker. Now, you'll remember both of these players had traumatic injuries last year that shortened their season. And so some people would say that Malik Hooker is the better strong safety. But, you know, you look at what you ended up paying for DeMontre Kazee's, uh, the Cowboys have about 5 or $6 million in cap space right now. Um, bringing in Malik Hooker, if he is good, um, is not a bad thing because, you know, DeMontre KZ um, was much like Charlie Waters, an interceptor. He had 10 interceptions over uh, two seasons, 20, 2018 and 2019, and was an absolute beast. He's, of course, very young, too, as is Malik Hooker. Malik Hooker has a total of seven interceptions, um, in 35 games, um, how many tackles are we looking at? We're looking at 124 combined tackles, um, one tackle for loss, and no sacks. But definitely the Cowboys, you know, hate to keep quoting Stephen Jones, but Stephen Jones says, you know, um, player acquisition is a 365-day-a-year job. And you always look at somebody to see, can they make your team better? I have to give them credit on that one. You know, give credit where credit's due. And this is where the Cowboys are looking at this. I think the Cowboys, after hearing Jimmy, excuse, hearing Jerry Jones talking about firing uh, Jimmy Johnson and saying that he effed it up, I think the Cowboys are now trying to be all in. They're pushing all the chips in and trying to make this team the one that gets over the hump. Um, I, I, that's the way I feel. I feel that they are literally saying, we're going to do this shit right now. So Malik Hooker is going to be coming in to get the, you know, kick, getting the tires kicked on. Um, the thing that I love about this is we're not looking at anybody and saying, okay, that guy's a starter. So we don't have to worry about trying to do anything else. Let's go someplace else. No. They looked at that from linebacker, you know, where we brought in Micah Parsons, of course, and Jabril Cox and things. You know, we looked at our defensive line. We said, you know, we got Tristan Hill. We got Gallimore. But you went out and you got OC over there. You went out there and got Urban. You ended up getting Carlos Watkins. You got more guys in places to fill. But now you've brought in enough talent that you can say, you know, it's Imano versus Imano. We want a spirited fight for these position and we want to take the best 53 guys and that's exactly what you have to do you know it may end up being that you know hooker becomes the starter maybe kazee's hell it may be somebody we don't even expect that becomes it but they are looking to put the best 11 guys on the field whether it's defense special teams or offense and it may be that some of the guys that we think should be starters are backups but also play special teams guys this is crazy because <clears throat> about an hour ago, we just finished the Dak Prescott um, comp press conference, uh, finding out that Dak Prescott's going to be playing in preseason. I've been running around, so I said, I'm going to go get me a sub, you know. Uh, and, and, and fortunately, I'm not throwing up my Italian sub. I'm not throwing up my Italian sub. Um, so I – did a video that I just put up in there about Dak Prescott is going to be playing in preseason. Literally, it's only been out like 10 minutes. Then this news breaks right here to bring to you. And in the meantime, I was uploading the Calvin Johnson interview where he is still kind of pissed at the Cowboys for that playoff loss in Dallas. So 
keep your uh, make sure you set your notifications on so that way you get the notifications on when something happens because more shit is happening than I can almost keep up with. And I'm going to do my best to make sure that you have all the news that is on the Dallas Cowboys. Malik Hooker, kind of surprised. But then again with the Cowboys, don't be. I'll see you tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern. We'll be doing another one of our giveaways. We'll be talking about all the news here between Dak Prescott playing in preseason and things from being low-key faded in the hospital where he's saying, feed me, Zeke, feed me, and not knowing what the hell he was saying in there to Mike McCarthy going on about this year's training camp to Malik Hooker coming in, uh, getting the tires kicked again. There's so much going on. Oh, and Jerry Jones, he fucked up. And that... And more. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you later.